Hello kids! How's your day? Hope you're fine and healthy. I'm teacher Jen, your math teacher for today. Do you still remember fraction? Fraction is a part of a whole. Let's take a look at this pizza. This pizza is a whole. When we took one part of it, that part shows us a fraction. We can say that this is one eighth of a whole pizza. One over eight is an example of a fraction. Numerator or the upper number. This is the part we took away. And the denominator or the bottom number. These are the total part of a whole. Now, this is a tough one. Can we identify the following? These are your choices. Proper fraction, dissimilar fraction, similar fractions, fraction, and mixed numbers. Are you ready for the questions? Great. Question number one. It has a numerator and a denominator. Yes, that is a fraction. Number two, the numerator is less than the denominator. Oh, that is proper fraction. Third question, it comprises a proper fraction and whole number. You get it right. That is mixed number. Number four, set of fractions for the same denominators. That's awesome. Similar fractions. And number five, set of fractions for different denominators. Okay, that is the similar fractions. Do you like poems like I do? Well, I made this one for you. Listen carefully, and after which, we will answer several questions. Fractions of me. A home of me is eight. Three over eight of me likes aesthetic. Painting, reading, and poetry. Daisy, days, and dizzy. Two over eight of me likes singing and dancing. Be it do re mi or sol la ti. Beating the beat and kicking the heat. And the 3 over 8 of me likes math. Cool operations and solving problems. Swirling and swimming and flowing numbers. 3 over 8 plus 2 over 8 plus 3 over 8 is equal to 8 over 8 or simply a whole me. Did you enjoy the poem? That's great. Now, let us answer the questions. What is the title of the poem? Did you get it right? Fractions of me. Number two. Can you name all the fractions that we have mentioned? Okay, let's mention them all. 3 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8, and 8 over 8. Number three. What have you noticed on the fractions? Did you notice something? That's good! They have same bottom numbers or denominators. That means they are similar fractions. And is 8 over 8 equal to 4? How? Yes! 8 over 8 is equal to 4 because 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Now, here are the steps in adding and subtracting similar fractions. 1. Make sure that the denominators are the same. Number 2. Add or subtract their numerators, then copy the denominator. And number 3. Simplify the fraction. So, again, these are the three steps in adding and subtracting similar fractions. Number 1. Make sure that the denominators are the same. 
for 2, add or subtract their numerators, then copy the denominator. And number 3, simplify the fraction if possible. Let's try this. 1 half plus 1 half is equal to... Let's try the 3 steps. Step number 1. Make sure that the denominators are the same. Step number 2. Add their numerators, then copy the denominator. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, then copy the denominator, which is 2. Then step number 3. Simplify the fraction. Since it is 2 over 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, the answer will be 1. Another. 5 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is equal to... Okay, let us have the numerator, which is 5 plus 1, and the denominator, which is 8. So the answer will be 6 over 8, or we can simplify as 3 over 4. How about 6 over 11 plus 2 over 11? Let us look at the numerator. 6 plus 2 and 11. The answer will be 8 over 11. Since 8 over 11 can be simplified, therefore the answer will be 8 over 11. Another. 9 over 15 minus 5 over 15. Let us look at the numerator. 9 minus 5 and 15. So 9 minus 5 is 4 and 15. So the answer is 4 over 15. Since 4 over 15 can be simplified, therefore the answer is 4 over 15. Now, it's your turn. Let us answer this one. 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4. What would be the answer? Okay, the answer will be 3 over 4. Did you get it? Okay, next. Five over nine plus two over nine. What is the answer? Correct. Seven over nine. Next. Four over eight plus four over eight. What would be the answer? You got it right. That is eight over 8. Since 8 over 8 can be simplified, the answer will be 1. Next, 10 over 21 minus 3 over 21. Your answer? That's right! It's 7 over 21. Since 7 over 21 can be simplified, the answer will be 1 over 3. And the last one, we have 8 over 16 minus 2 over 16. That's great! That is 6 over 16. And since 6 over 16 can be simplified, the answer will be 3 over 8. Did you get them all? Great! Congratulations! Job well done!